Afolabi Abimbola is my name. I am the producer for Heart Unlimited. This project, Heart Unlimited, um, was battered out of a question. Why are the younger generations not pursuing heart? When I mean heart, heart in different form. Heart in different mediums. Painting, poetry, poetry sculpturing, um, 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 different kind of contemporary hearts and all you could think of. Why are the younger generation of it? Why is it all this conventional kind of careers, doctor, um, engineers and stuff like that? Because right there in overseas, we have seen quite a number of people that have become great people through the use of heart, through the medium of heart, through pursuing heart as a, as a career. So this project was actually parted from this question that was there. Why are Nigerians, youths, the younger generations, not pursuing heart? And it could actually, from, from some of our findings, while going around schools, we find out that all these vices around sexual abuses, teenage pregnancy, drugs, um, drugs all around, and trying to jump the process of life could actually be answered through this medium. People that are creative, where can they be? Where can they find a platform to express themselves? Because this project is actually going a long way, even to introduce it to the younger generations that are not in school that might want to participate. Because we have a larger version of it, and we are taking it big. But um, the project flow was supposed to be that after the entries were brought in, the best students um, will be taken out of school and will be taken to a location whereby they will be there. Um, for an art academy, art unlimited academy, and we found that that this could not be possible because quite a number of the schools were telling us that is it all about art that um, their student could not afford to forfeit um, their courses, other courses for such a thing. So we had to go back to our drawing board, sat down again, and that was how we came about with this video project. The video project was actually. Um, conceived at the point whereby we thought oh we could not go forward again and at that juncture um, we said we were going to the schools with the cameras since they could not come out since they could not come to us we said okay let's go out and meet them over there so we decided that it is time for us to go to the schools and um, capture them you know cover them there the whole process um, right wrapping a story around the student. And by the grace of God, we initiated this process and we went to the first school, which happens to be um, Vivian Fowler Memorial College in Lagos here. Yeah? And um, we went there, we were able to do quite a number of things. We met with the um, director of studies, we met with the students who happened to be representing the school, Alina Ebunike, and um, with our friends, with our teacher, uh, Mr. Shobola. Quite a number of them, we met them, we wrote, we wrote a story around her, and there and there we covered her while she was doing a painting, still based on the same thing, my Lagos, my environment. And that was how we were able to conclude that of Vivian Fowler. We went further. Um, the second school, which happens to be um, Cali College. Also, we went there, we did the same story, we met um, with the proprietor of the school, we met with the um, administrator, and also we met with the friends of the students who was um, representing the school, and the person of Tosin Babs, um, Babata. And um, we covered that also, and. That was how the story went for them over there too. Um, the judges, in assessing the works that were submitted, the entries that were submitted based on the team, my Lagos, my environment, based their judge judgment on creativity, um, uniqueness of the work, and also based on individuality. Now, the, the works we received are very good. Uh, we got works from Vivian Fowler, the Ivy, Cali, uh, and some other schools. Uh, our, our 
judgment was based on creativity and of composition and uh, draftsmanship and the use of color. And we noticed that a lot of these kids, uh, since they are still young, we, they, are, they, they tend to be more expressive with their use of colors, their use of uh, you know composition. So we 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 love that. We love that part of them because that is the essence of the contest. You know, um, a lot of them are expressive. They 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 tend to you know be very uh, innocent with what they are doing, and which was very very good. So the grand finale took place at uh, Nikkei Hat Gallery at Lekki in Lagos, whereby we had the, the representing schools, um, the competing students, and also the friends and, um, and colleagues of the students came around and actually looked around, did a tour of the gallery, and um, they actually also met with um, Ms. Soye Nikkei, the owner of um, Hat Gallery, the CEO of Hat Gallery, and um, and Nike Art Foundation. They met with her, they spoke with her, they asked her questions. We were honored to have her to be the one to help us to present um, the awardees and um, the winner and the um, first runner-up winner with their gifts and with their awards. Um, and uh, it was a, one of the most um, interesting um, part of this project because um, therein we had um, her um, really appreciating what we are doing and trying to promote her. I think we need more young people like you to be. And also we also need the media to showcase and write a book on her. So children from six years old will be able to read about Nigerian art. Not until they even get to this age. Then the government has to come in to help us to support material actually went a step further by actually promising us that uh, the next edition, by the grace of God, she's going to be able to host our exhibition. Yes, Art Unlimited. We Nigeria, you know, anything Nigeria do, we always do it well. I know this is the beginning, but this is going to go a long way. And by this time of next year, you may do the whole Africa, not only Nigeria, because you have started now, and we need more corporate organizations to help you to make sure you don't go back because the more they support you, the more you'll be able to reach out to other schools. For 2014 Art Unlimited competition, it promises to be a great one. We want schools to get ready. Watch out in the newspaper, in the media for adverts, for the next edition and we promise it's going to be a great one. It's going to be greater, bigger and better than this one because we would have by then have a lot of people coming on board to sponsor this project and we hope to take it to the next level. Watch out for Art Unlimited 2014 competition.